Sunrise is Hyderabad. Uh, when I say those words, I think uh, most of the IPL fans, what they think of is consistency, professionalism, an approach wherein the team believes in making superstars than rather than buying superstars. A humble approach and also a team which has performed well beyond their means in the past. And of course, when you think of Sunrisers, you can't escape the David Warner dances, his TikTok videos, his, his videos, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, la- dancing on on the Telugu film industry and its music, and also how he's become a king of hearts when it comes to the entire fan base of Sun- Sunrisers Hyderabad. Yeah. So now that we talk about 2021, Anurag, uh, it's such a sea change for a franchise which has honestly been, uh, you know, one of one of real sources of joy. Uh, you know, one of the real sources of joy for a for an IPL fan who may not have a who may not you know exactly be a Sunrisers fan. Because Sunrisers often have been the second team for most fans all across the country, and there has been a reason for that. You know, from Bhubaneswar Kumar, Rashid Khan, to Yus- Yusuf Pathan in yesteryears, uh, Amit Mishra and Shikhar Dhawan doing their thing in the years gone by. Then again, Kane Williamson uh, and of course Johnny Besto uh, of the current generation. So, what is going on this season, man? Uh, I mean, kya chal raha hai? What is this uh, with the whole controversy? You, I, you know, just just as any of the viewers, if you guys didn't know by now, uh, Anurag is one of the most hardcore Sunrisers fan you could find there, and you'd, you'd have to struggle uh, to look for more, you know, people who are more involved or rather more invested in the franchise. But it sort of breaks my heart as a as a neutral here yeah, in this situation to see uh, a franchise go this way, especially when I thought after the entire sandpaper gate. You know, uh, notanki that had happened with Cricket Australia and how Sunrisers had to lose their captain for a season. I thought they had found a perfect solution to that. I thought they had found a guy who could then welcome back the other guy who had not been a part of the team into the whole setup without causing any friction. But in 2019, we saw uh, you know him being removed from the captaincy. Warner comes actually. back. Sorry, 2020. Sorry, 2020. Uh, he was removed uh, from the captaincy. Warner comes back last season. Somehow, and I add this, somehow Sunrisers still make the playoffs. Incredible performance, but uh, it all yeah. seems to have gone wrong this year. Yes, it has. And uh, just talking about that entire sandpaper gate and how Kane Williamson uh, took over the mantle at Sunrisers, it was just outstanding uh, as a fan to watch because that was the season we entered with zero amount of hope. And that is the only season till date where Sunrisers actually finished on top. I think that's what uh, you inv- you give Kane Williamson the time and uh, just the decision making power, and you get the results. That's what he's done. Maybe yes, uh, in his overall captaincy record, one thing unfortunately that has lacked are trophies. Uh, but you've seen he he takes the team to the business end almost every time, and that is Kane Williamson. Eh? Uh, the 2019 edition that was when when David Warner was back. Uh, he played under Ken Williamson's captaincy. We reached the playoffs. He's, he, he, he had to play only 12 games because uh, Australia had called him back. Uh, he scored 690 freaking runs in just 12 games. Uh, just uh, just for uh, our viewers' sake, uh, Virat Kohli was around about 705-710 after 12 games in that uh, famous 970 season. So, just putting into perspective what a season David Warner had after he came back. Uh, so, it's... All of that, and now it's great stuff to talk about. Unfortunately, all of that is in the past. Right now, the season, the way it has panned out. Uh, I, I don't know if Trevor Bale is, uh, is the person that uh, we can all pin the blame on. Uh, or uh, I personally would, because he's taken a lot of the decisions. I mean, with uh, I, I'm sure he meant no disrespect to any of the players that were involved. Uh, he took some decisions because he felt it was right, uh, which backfired quite horribly. Uh, but also, not just backfired, but it also ended up insulting or disrespecting the cricketers that are involved. And who, oh, the two most, what two of the most celebrated cricketers of this generation, in uh, at least white ball cricket for sure. Uh, Kane Williamson, when he was removed from captaincy, I think that was when a lot of people were staggered and shocked. But uh, people were still fine by the fact that David Warner, David Warner isn't a bad captain. He's just not as good as Kane Williamson. Kane Williamson, I, I mean, uh, just the Rajasthan loss. Uh, Yesterday, you could see he had some plans in place. He's ultra aggressive as far as his captaincy is concerned. He made Rashid Khan bowl in the power play. He almost reaped rewards. Uh, there was that yeah. LBW of Josh Butler, which uh, uh, we, I we still can't believe that the 
the review yeah. was taken on yashasvi man i still am finding I that am. hard to believe <laughs> yeah i mean uh, imagine how how much that cost like almost 120 runs uh, butler was not even in double digits at that point in time and also he uh, i think uh, in siddharth calls no no in sandeep sharma was bowling even uh, sanju samson had given a setter of a catch to manish pandey which uh, quite yeah. surprised well so kane williamson's plans were quite fine uh, his aggressive approach i think what they were looking for was to restrict rajasthan to maybe 150 160 on a very good batting deck which could have been chased down in like 16 17 overs if possible because the batting the deck was so good for batting maybe that was the kind of stuff that uh, kane williamson was looking for the change is visible right now but all of this change coming in the middle of a season uh, with the uh, the entire fan base's morale being so down trust me if that game had was played in hyderabad you would have heard ringing boos throughout the game uh, i think uh, the fan base has taken this quite uh, i have not taken it very well uh, especially the uh, okay as far at least captaincy is still fine uh, even we uh, i've said about this uh, Uh, that uh, maybe david warner removing his, him as captain it's still fine okay we can take that uh, because kane williamson anyone would accept anyone with the same mind would accept he is a better captain but again removing david warner from the level oh god that was see just for perspective not comparing the cricketers josh butler he he didn't have the best of starts let's let's be honest he was he was actually putting but uh, you know pressure on uh, sanju samson yesterday and look where he ended up being that's what happens and Josh Butler has had a horrible campaign up until that point and and yeah. I think it was a oh it was an over of I'm not very sure uh, who was the spinner who was the indian spinner um, I, he got a couple of sixes in one over and that's when the entire tide changed that's what happens when you back a player with that kind of ability and that's what I was actually looking out for as far as sunrise management was concerned because they've historically done that even in the la- last edition david warner was off the If I if I must add he actually had an even bad start last time he was not even getting 20 30 runs in the first 5 or 6 games and they backed them he ended up once again getting 500 runs that's what david warner brings he is he is just an ip he is a superstar in the ipl he knows how to get runs eventually and i mean ipl legend i mean i would i would yeah if if there is a hall of fame he would be there in the top 10 top 10 top yeah. 10 So yeah I think that's where the entire disappointment stems in and to watch a team that's been so consistent uh, only two times we've missed out on play- playoffs up until now even in the 2015 season the last uh, game of the season uh, it was uh, so sunrisers were fifth mumbai indians were fourth uh, the team winning that game the last game of the group stages they would have finished second uh it was that kind of a game and uh, with all my hopes pinned i went to the stadium and we ended up losing that game quite badly we ended up sixth mumbai indians ended up finishing second and also won the title so we were quite close we are just uh, we lost that by inches so th- that's a problem this time uh, there's just lack of intent uh, you so yesterday one of the most frustrating side was kedar jadhav almost nudging out 11 deliveries uh, in a row uh, i i know i mean game was already lost by then uh, make no mistake uh it's one of those things where as a fan you would maybe come out and say you could have rather hit the ball got no trend rather than playing those kind of shots and that's what a lot of fans would say uh but may have been a may have been a directive from the team management as well right yeah maybe maybe well, now that the game is lost maybe just try and play out the overs mm. reduce because, the damage because if you get out the effect on the net run rate is way worse than actually playing out of 20 overs yeah maybe maybe that could have been the point uh but again uh Jadhav is far from being the problem at Sunrises. Manish Pandey is far from being the problem at Sunrises. David Warner is far from being the problem at Sunrises. The problem lies uh, behind the scenes. Just the amount of discrepancy that has been caused uh, ever since the appointment of Bayless. See, when something is functioning so well, uh, as uh, we've said it on multiple times on our TSD lives, why fix something that's not broken? And I think that's what Bale is trying to do. I understand where the thought, uh, the, the his thought process, and where he's coming from. Uh, maybe he wants to leave his mark on the side. If you give him a team right from the scratch, like uh, right ahead of a mega auction, that's a different story. He had a settled team with a settled captain who had just uh, helped this side finish fourth with a with an okay team in uh, 28 in in 2019 when David Warner was also there. Uh, that was the season when Johnny Bairstow was also there. Johnny Bairstow left after eight games. Uh, Warner left after twelve games. Uh, eventually, the batting right towards the end, 
uh, we our batsmen our openers were alex hills uh, we had martin guptel also i guess uh, that season no 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 uh, we had alex hills and ridhiman zaha opening so you you can sense the batting wasn't that great so we lost out uh, it was all fine that team was fine there was no necessity to change the captaincy at that point in time uh, i i don't know why the management felt the need uh, to change the overseas combination to two batsmen one all rounder and uh, one bowler uh, which which is still understandable but at the expense of dropping whom uh, kane williamson and that happened last season that happened this season and it's funny how the narrative has changed it flipped so quickly people were sympathizing for uh, williamson everyone was rooting nahi kane williamson humko chahiye nahi kane williamson humko chahiye now the entire narrative has flipped now everyone are after david warner yeah i i think i think there's a there's an interesting line of thought that uh, came out to our discussions yesterday as well anurag uh, हम लोग डिस्कस कर रहे थे कि आफ्टर हैविंग सीन द वे ही वाज ट्रीटेड आफ्टर द 2019 सीजन केन विलियम्स एंड आफ्टर हैविंग सीन द वे इन अ वे डेविड वार्नर हैज बीन ट्रीटेड बिकॉज़ आई सॉ आई सॉ अ क्लिप ऑन सनराइजर्स का अपना सोशल्स व्हेन वार्नर एंड केन बोथ केप्ट द रोजा अप वे अलोंग विद राशिद खान फॉर अ डे एंड यू नो दे बोथ वर आई थिंक ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम वर ब्रेकिंग देयर फास्ट एट द सेम टाइम व्हेन राशिद दैट पोस्टेड दैट क्लिप इट जस्ट I know, I know. A lot of things people do. A lot of things for uh, a lot of PR purposes. We can't really buy into everything we see on social media. But surely there was no ulterior motive in you know just supporting a teammate by doing so. It was just poignant to me the two two people who were there supporting Russia, and it just it just showed me that surely David Warner and Kane Williamson have a close rapport. Yeah, they're not. They're not. You know, they're not two people. Who are cold towards each other outside the field? At least, me. I got to hear laga. From an outsider's perspective, I might be entirely wrong. I might n- not know jack, right? I'm not claiming to have any inside track on this or any inside knowledge on this. But I'm just saying, as an outsider, to me, it looks like it looks like Warner and Williamson don't particularly look like that. You know, they've got any animosity towards each other or that they don't get on. Yeah. In that perspective, he's seen someone who he might call a friend being treated in a manner. By this particular team management, and I think up to me, Bailey's can be on the other because Bailey's se pehle Vijay Lakshman, Mataya Murli Dharan uh, were there a part of the team team management. They have always been a part of the team management. <coughs> Sorry, but where have where have they been in this whole scenario? Why haven't they put this uh, put down saying that, "Hey, you are messing up our uh, you know team chemistry this way. You know this is not how it works." And uh, I don't get it. I'm 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 very confused as to how one man has this level of power to make such such decisions which have such a far reaching impact. David Warner isn't just David Warner. He is a selling point for that franchise. Exactly. He is he could have been I mean if he is stuck around if he sticks around in spite of all this you know if he sticks around with the franchise and maybe in, in Hyderabad you can like, make money out of David Warner without even him playing. For the next thirty years, exactly. next thirty years, I mean, I think I don't think David Warner needs to do anything. He can have an ambassadorial role with the Sunrisers, like Sachin has with Mumbai, yeah. or exactly. uh, like you know, or like uh, you know, others have had with other franchises. How we think MSD will have with uh, CSK, how Rohit will probably have with MI, how Virat will have with RCB, whenever these guys do finally retire. So, I mean, they are risking a lot by doing this. Do the or do the ownership also not realize or also they've had enough of Warner? Is there any any noise around that? Uh, nothing around it as yet. I mean, uh, no. I would I wouldn't claim to have much insider information as well. Uh, but uh, at least there are people I know who who work in the closer proximities uh, of the team. Uh, not that they have spoken out quite significantly about this. Uh, but one thing definitely that uh, we can say about is. Trevor Bayless has immense amount of control, and uh, the owners of the franchise have backed him with that control because he has a proven record. I mean, uh, see, right now, after all the decisions that have gone wrong, uh, now yes, Bayless looks uh, quite bad on on the outside. But uh, well, at the point, at the time of his appointment, uh, I, 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 I'll definitely say I was actually quite happy because. He he has a proven track record. He just won. He helped England win a World Cup. He had two IPL titles to his credit. So it's not uh, a new new region for him. Uh, but uh, I will I will also just add uh, about the Kane Williams and David Warner thing that you were telling. 
I I doubt if it was Ken Williamson's decision to drop David Warner because I don't think Ken Williamson also belongs to that school of thought ki teen char game acha nahi gaya to usko drop kar denge let's give him that rest I don't think Ken Williamson is that kind of a captain especially the amount of trust he's shown in the past to Martin Guptill uh, some other players uh, Colin De Grandom especially uh, in the New Zealand setup he he is one of those captains in the past at least of what I've read from uh, he is one of those backers he's not one of those uh, हाँ तीन मैच दूंगा अगर इसमें वर्कआउट नहीं हुआ टू मैच रेस्ट एंड देन कम बैक ही इज नॉट वन ऑफ दोज पीपल ही इज दैट्स वाई पीपल कीप सेंग मे बी दैट्स वाई इफ इट्स वेल इन द सी एस के थॉट ऑफ प्लेइंग क्रिकेट दैट्स द रीजन एंड एस आर एच दैट्स वॉट एस आर एच बीन डूइंग सो फॉर सो लॉन्ग सो दैट्स वॉट क्वाइट हर्ट एंड यू नो इवन वन आफ्टर दैट विच गेम Uh, after the CSK game, uh, everyone was talking about how David Warner should be dropped. Even on our lives, uh, I respectfully di- disagreed that. Uh, see, one thing is you wanting him to get dropped, and second thing is him actually getting dropped. That we, I was actually expecting that was never going to happen, even if the fans wanted it. But the fa- the management actually decided to make an announcement out of it. Uh, उंड I I follow plenty of fan pages who have great reach as far as uh, uh, at least the Hyderabad city is concerned. Uh, they were absolutely outraged. I was checking the comment section. Oh God, people had lost their shit. I had some as as if someone had died, quite literally. It was almost a funeral kind of environment. Right from the moment the decision was made, I think it's the that second paragraph where they said. Uh, uh the we are trying to change combinations i think that was quite a uh, indirect way and direct way of saying uh, david warner will be dropped i think that's where the entire uh, fiasco started and since then it's been the same and the game going so horribly wrong didn't help another uh, two or two more questions i know i know we didn't want to keep make it too long uh, this particular reaction but there is just so many questions related to this uh, another question to me was Uh, I found it preposterous that there was this clip of BBS Lakshman, Tom Moody, and Trevor Bayliss having a conversation with David Warner on the bloody field, yeah. and it seemed like that was the moment they decided to tell him, "Ki buddy, you're not in the eleven." Uh, surely, such a discussion could have happened close door, behind closed doors. Did it need to happen on the goddamn field? Is my question. Uh, what is this? Is this is this like an Ekta Kapoor soap that is happening? I don't know. Like, are they trying to make a make a proper vamp and a baby face here? Is this like a, is this like pro wrestling? Is there a Triple H or the Rock scenario going on? Whereas Triple H has McMahon's backing and the Rock is the people's champion. What is this? What is this nonsense that's going on? I mean, I don't get it. Uh, point one and point two. Uh, as you said, the uh, you know the whole press conference. So sorry, a press press release was done. It was wasn't even a press conference yeah. because clearly there were no question and answers taken. Yeah. Once you do that, you put so much pressure on Kane Williamson. As soon as that review went wrong, all you could see was David Warner on his screens. All you could see, and the entire day. I mean, I wouldn't blame David Warner. You know, he must have been very emotional about it, and you could see it on his face. He was crestfallen every time the camera went to him. He, yeah. Whether whether he was arranging for bottles as a twelfth man on the boundary, or whether he was just sitting in the dugout. It just seemed like you know there was a big part of him that was missing. From a star sports producer point of view, kudos to the cameraman. I don't, you know, okay, yes, they captured everything from, that uh, from that the is, uh, ratings that point of view, yeah. kudos. Also, you're a heartless point of view. Yes, that's what they want, right? You're a heartless, heartless man, but yeah, kudos, <laughs> yeah. kudos, well done. Yeah. But yeah, uh, coming to you, kaha tak, matlab. I don't get it. Like you know, I I know we've got other sports where we follow the same team, and we're pissed off with certain ownership and and management and administration. But this is this is so obviously dumb. What as an as as a Sunrise fan, what would you see as the way ahead now? What do you see? What Anurag Pistara is to set out certain guidelines for 2022 IPL mega option. These are the retained bandas. These are the RTMs. What is Anurag Pisara going to advise the owners? Even the uh, management, and believe me, no one is beyond the axe. Even Vivi Sachpal is. 
uh, I mean yes totally uh, I think a lot of people especially on Twitter were talking about David Warner's press conferences uh, after the game and how he was mentioning he had no clue so there were there was also a lot of uh, points from journalists saying if you don't have a clue what's happening why are you the captain and if uh, i i i think this is the reason I, you are absolutely right when you said it is everyone who's a part of it muthai murli there and vvs uh, lakshman brad had in and it's quite surprising isn't it there are three aussies in the in the in the in the cab and they still had the audacity to drop the most decorated of all the aussies uh, that's quite uh, stunning for me Uh, and Trevor Bale has also mentioned that point in an interview. If you remember, uh, Mabang, Kwame Mabangwa and Ian Bishop. Ian Bishop maintained a sarcastic tone throughout uh, the game, as far as David Warner's decision was concerned. He totally disagreed, and he did not uh, feel the need to hide it. And I, I, I was not able to. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Totally fair enough. And the way Kwame Mabangwa questioned, it was almost like a police interrogation when the Bayless interview was happening. And again, even that was to a great extent understandable. It was it was that kind of a thing. And Bayless, one thing which he said, which sort of cracked me up, was we don't want we want to try and continue this setup, and we don't want to drop players for two or three bad games. And that really cracked me up. Uh, if if that's what he <laughs> wants to say, and. Uh, Uh, where does that put Kane Williams? As, as you rightly said, where does that put Kane Williams on now? Okay, even he knows if three or four games go bad, uh, so even he's prone to getting sacked. One of the best captains in the world. If the if one of the Ooh. best batsmen in the world can get dropped, Mohammad Nabi, Mohammad Nabi, Rashid captain. Khan, God knows. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh God, Abdul Samad. Jason Holder. Jason Holder is a captain. Yeah, I mean he's prone to being a captain of a controversial team. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think. See, uh, this is footballing parallel. Uh, in the past, uh, at least as far as administration was concerned, we were like a Bayern Munich. Everything getting silently done. Uh, no, mu- not much hype around it. Uh, once any transfer or any appointment is done, next day you get it on the press, irrelevant of where the season is. It could be mid-season. It could be uh, uh, in the, you know the summer transfer window. It could be any time. They just release it. Uh, release it. Uh, the press release. And there is no fuss about it. Right now, we are becoming a Manchester United. There's just too much drama around everything, and that's what I think wow. is. Uh, it's just irking any everyone. Uh, obviously, uh, as for again adding to it, the Bayern Munich comparison was only to the administrative side of side of things, <laughs> as not not definitely as far as the trophies were concerned. Uh, but again, we are uh, now. It's just a melodramatic uh, franchise right now with a lot of talking points for all the people who want to earn some clicks through it. Uh, we are giving them plenty of talking points. Uh, in a sense, even we are doing that, so it's funny. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just hurtful. Uh, especially, I, I love that nonchalant way of functioning, and that that proved that proved to be successful. We almost won the second title, if not for Shane Watson's brilliance. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think this is it's quite uh, distressful in one way. And uh, as far as uh, my suggestions go, I think at the end of the season. the we st- we are still not very well aware of how the retention scenarios will be because uh, the rumors about the n- two new teams joining are very strong if not two at least one which is coming from ahmedabad because they definitely want to put that uh, stadium into use so adding a franchise is possibly I'm the best sure, option i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure pranag they're going to be two because yeah there e- are... even if even if two is not is something they're finding it difficult to work out one ahmedabad is guaranteed a position yeah, uh, the other is sure. lucknow obviously uh so in that scenario we don't know how the retention policies might work out it might not be the same 3 plus 2 thing uh so in that scenario if if it's going to be three people right now there are a lot of speculations uh, around the team saying david warner is closing towards the end and even he's mentioned in the past that he wouldn't want to continue in cricket for too long uh because he wants to ten- spend more time with his family so don't be surprised if uh, david warner is not retained Surely uh, Anurag, he he sticks around till twenty twenty three. That's the World Cup. Surely he sticks around till then. We we have to hope so. I'll even I'll and I'll, and also also and I can see tw- him sticking around till twenty twenty four because that will be the next Ashes in Australia. Because for me that yeah. makes that makes the cycle come around for him. Definitely. I mean, yeah. Even he would love that. I think his career started in around about two thousand nine, where he had that T Twenty game against South Africa, an explosive start to his career. Yeah. Uh, and fifteen years, years would be a nice way to end it. I'm assuming. Why well, could? Uh, yes, there are some clips uh, in between as well. But yes, fifteen uh, minus one year, fourteen. Uh, that would be quite great. 
uh, but again david warner has been quite an immense part of this franchise so i wouldn't mind him getting retained but i wouldn't be surprised if he is not retained and if they pick ken williamson ahead of david warner because as it stands uh, bhuvneshwar kumar i think he's another person who sort of picks himself he's not very sure i am not very sure if the franchise really wants to let go of this player because in the last three seasons if you if you notice bhuvneshwar has been injured half the time but the team management has pers- pers- uh, persistently backed him because they know he adds value to the team he's he's not been very good this season uh, i think a lot of the hype around sunrises was also uh, backed by the fact that bhuvneshwar was coming into this uh, tournament on the back of a great great series on what we were talking about possibly the greatest performance of his career uh, against yeah, one of the greatest if not the greatest i mean, I those, mean those white ball matches decks, on those flat decks someone actually bowled at a economy of 6.2 that's quite outrageous for me in yeah, a t20 series my guy <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think even more than the T20 series the ODI series was even worse uh, yeah. because I think Pune actually absolutely provided a no mercy to the bowlers and still uh, Bhuvneshwar was quite so wonderful so yeah Bhuvneshwar is another person who picks himself and above Kane Williamson and Bhuvneshwar if there is one person who picks himself that is Rashid Khan because right now he's a T20 enigma uh, he is uh, as good a bowler can get uh, as Pena can get right now so I think he picks himself as well yeah. uh as far as the retention score i'm it's it's very complicated man i think uh, but if the if the season ends up with like two or three wins and 11 losses which is which we are definitely staring at because the morale is quite down uh if that is something that's going to happen then you'll see a lot of people quitting uh it's will it is it possible to go back to the old management of tom modi as a head coach uh i think tom modi as a head coach uh, provided great freedom to a lot of cricketers around him that you don't see you see players being a little locked up this time and that's okay. where tom modi and that's why he was touted as a very strong contender to even take over the indian cricket team as a head coach uh, because uh, because of a proven record for good 6 7 years uh, so yeah i w- i would love to see it it was quite uh, heartening to see him back in a role i cannot really explain or i couldn't care to explain what that director of cricket means uh, i as ravi shastri once said in an interview with gaurav kapoor you can call it director of cricket you can call it head coach it doesn't matter these roles don't mean anything uh, if ravi shastri himself says it then you have to understand these are just words given uh, so you must i mean it's i i don't know what those role roles account for i would love to see one person at the top and and the other mentors which they were in the past that would be one ideal thing and i don't know man i think bailis is going to find it very difficult to go through this because this management is way too used to good results and this is as horrible as one could have imagined so i think bailis is a person who's going to potentially we might see him not being a part of the 2022 season if things go very very bad from him which is which looks likely all right uh, fair enough uh, i just uh, all i have to say is uh, If, if by some, uh, I think if by some miracle, uh, David Warner isn't retained by Sunrisers. So I'm sure. Small scenario. After two or three games, if David Warner is coming back in the next two games, I assure you there is a 35, 40 ball, 70 coming. He is angry. Ah, yeah. He's I think, I think, I think. And that's what I. I don't think anything <clears throat> triggers an Aussie more than that. Yeah, I don't think I, I would fully agree, and I'd hope that you know there's a nice, nice ending to this particular story, wherein Warner ends up spending the rest of his IPL career in Hyderabad itself, be it as a player, not as a captain. He need not, he need not. It's just too used be. to that thought of him being a part of that orange and black, isn't it? Like absolutely it was really awkward watching uh, Dhoni in that Pune jersey or Raina in that. Uh, what- Uh, Gujarat ne uh, Gujarat Lions right yeah it didn't make sense to us but yes coming back to you uh, on this on this particular note if 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 by some miracle he is not retained by hyderabad i'm sure there are a lot of gujarati and hindi songs he could dance to and you know get become become the captain of the two new franchises that's coming we used to he, you know anurag you spoke about the narrative being shifted you know that was the same case being made for kane williamson because for us the issue wasn't that kane williamson wasn't the captain it was that he wasn't even afforded a place in the 11 mm-hmm. this team management seems to think it's either williamson or warner it can't be both which absolutely mystifies me because when you had in 2019 the the triumvirate of Bairstow Warner and Williamson playing who continue to be three of the best T20 batsmen in the world today along with the Rashid Khan as your fourth or an option 
I don't see why do you not build your Indian play those, core around play it. those three and play Manish Pandey and Kedar Jadhav. They those both will automatically take confidence out of those three people. Don't you think? But but the problem becomes too many right-handers. Then I mean I think I know I know they might maybe thinking on those lines. But fair enough uh, on those note. When you have players such who as good as Warner, Williamson, and Besto. मतलब मुझे तो नहीं लगता कि हाउ डू यू एक्चुअली यू नो एंड अप ड्रॉपिंग एनी ऑफ देम फॉर दैट मैटर लेट्स नॉट फॉरगेट द लाइक्स ऑफ मोहम्मद नबी जेसन होल्डर एंड जेसन रॉय आर मोस्टली यू नो गार्डिंग द बेंच दे नॉट इवन इन द प्लेइंग 11 सो यू नो फेयर इनफ थैंक यू सो मच अनुराग फॉर टॉकिंग अस टॉकिंग टू अस अबाउट दिस फॉर दिस व्यूज ऑफ एस आर एच लेट्स होप द रेस्ट ऑफ द सीजन द रिमाइंडर ऑफ द सीजन कोविड फ्री रिमेंस गुड फॉर अस एंड यू नो वी कैन सी दी दिस सीजन द सीजन टू इट्स कल्मिनेशन But up until then, uh, thank you so much for watching. Any last words for your SRH brethren? Just don't finish last, please. <laughs> All right. Here's a special appeal to you guys, SRH. Uh, you know, uh, as your fans are requesting, no wooden spoon tent this time, and let's hope you can, you know, you can uh, provide them that. Otherwise, let's hope. Even if you do get the wooden spoon last this time, the last time a Hyderabad team finished last, you know what happened the next time. Don't give up that. So let's see here's hoping for a better 2022. Thank you so much for watching the sports coverage. This is Neeku Chakra. I'm the Abhimanyu Rock signing off and we'll see you soon.